Hey guys, it's Mike the Scrapper. I have a lot of requests from a, a lot of subscribers, uh, especially new subscri subscribers, asking me about different types of metal. What's this? What's that? I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. Not a problem. I made this video specifically for my new, uh, my new subscribers and new scrappers. Okay, this is called Mike the Scrapper, Scrapping for Beginners. All right, today we're going to learn about Ferrous metals, okay? I'll put this up here so you can see it better. Okay, ferrous metals is of or containing iron. An example is steel. Mild steel, carbon, cast iron, stainless steel, and wrought iron. Okay, we're going to put that right there. All right, now, an example, get yourself a magnet. Put the magnet down. I'm going to show you something here. This is from another video I had. This is uh, from a water heater sticks okay that sticks there sticks put it over here it'll stick okay so now being that steel is magnetic and cast iron stainless steel wrought iron it's all magnetic this goes into a ferrous pile okay now this is a heat sink from a hard drive from a uh, computer doesn't stick. There's nothing magnetic to this because it's aluminum. Aluminum is not ferrous. Aluminum is non-ferrous. Okay, examples of non-ferrous is aluminum, copper, lead, silver, platinum, and many more. Guys, there's like 50 of these. All right, so we're going to put this one over here. So now, aluminum doesn't go in this pile. Aluminum would go in this pile. So now next time you go to the scrapyard, you'll know which areas it is. Okay? Another example is this little ball here. What is this, guys? Copper, exactly. Now, copper is non-magnetic because there's no steel. There's no iron. Actually, it's iron. There's no iron in here. Okay? So this goes in the non-ferrous pile. There's a piece of metal. Can you guys tell me what you think this is? Well, let's put a magnet to it. Well, it sticks. That means it contains iron. Okay, so that goes in this pile. I'll give you another example. This kind of looks the same. Actually, all three of them look the same. But you can tell by the... Uh, it's not so shiny. A lot of them aren't as shiny as the other. So what we're going to do is we'll put a magnet to it. It doesn't stick so that means there's no steel in it but it doesn't really look like aluminum although this is aluminum this is called cast aluminum okay this with this will get you some money but this will give you a few pennies less than solid aluminum okay so when you're scrapping your aluminum separate these and if not they'll give you what this cost instead of what that all right so now, let's look at something else. Let's look at this here. See this here? I shaved it down. I fouled it down a little bit. So you can see that. That's copper. All right. This here, I shaved this down a little bit. It looks like a little gold. That's brass. All right. Brass is made up of uh, zinc and copper together. And then there's other types. There's like a little bit of lead. There might be some silicone or something in there. Now... Brass is brass. Put everything together. There's different types of brass. Red brass, white brass, yellow brass. Um, uh, it's, it, it goes on and on and on. Okay? But put all your brass together. This here, cut these pieces off with a hacksaw. Cut that off with a hacksaw. If you have a, a, maybe a, a heater, like a torch, pop them off. Okay? And if you can shine them up, like I did here with maybe a grinder or something, you can actually get number one for this. Okay? This here is number two copper because you can see how it's... Uh, doesn't rust it oxidizes you can see how it's oxidizing there and this separate and this piece here that's steel so unscrew it put that with that pile this all these three pieces can go in this pile now you don't sell everything together you sell everything separate you sell your aluminum separate you sell your copper separate you sell your cast aluminum separate you sell your copper and brass separate 
okay? These two can go together unless you polish this up, then it's two separate piles of copper there. All right, if you guys have any questions, please ask me. All right, here's another example. This looks like, and this might be aluminum, all right, but when you put a magnet to it, it sticks. All right, so this goes in that pile. Here's a hammer, okay? Kenny! All right, there's a hammer there. See that? That goes with this here. All right, now, these are platters from a hard drive. Now, platters are non-magnetic. Now, if you need to know what's in these, you can Google it, Yahoo, look it up on the internet, and they'll tell you what, what these things are made of. These things are usually made of platinum on the outside, aluminum in the inside. Okay, and these are worth these are worth some nice money if you separate them from the actual hard drive. This here is a fin from a um, from a computer. You can try separating this. You will end up cutting your hands because these things are sharp. I'd sell it as is. Okay, again, the magnet is not sticking. So, and nothing here, you know. And this is considered goes in that pile. Okay, but because this is has the both, they'll give you a separate pri a price for this. This because this is fin. This is kind of like what you find in a um, a I can't I can't a water a heater a heater I can't even pronounce it. I can't even think of it right now. But this is what they look like, and they'll give you money for that. I I apologize. I'm a little confused right now. This is a scrap board. Usually you'll see some aluminum in there. I'm looking for another piece I don't see here right now. But um, this here, usually when you scrap them, you'll find pieces like this. This is, if you put a magnet to it, the magnet's gonna stick. So that means this is steel. Look for these when you're pulling them apart. Usually you'll find some of them that are not as shiny, that they'll kind of look like this. Put a magnet to it. If these don't stick, then you rip them apart. The ones that's, that do stick to the magnet, leave them alone. Okay, I can't believe I can't find the other piece, which I just had here a few minutes ago before I was setting up this video. But um, pretty much, that's ferrous and non-ferrous, guys. Okay, if you have a question, just let me know, and, I'll, and you know, I'll try to get it to you as fast as I can. This is a piece of metal that I got from a water heater. See that? Goes in that pile. Can you guys tell me what this is? This piece right here. Does that look familiar? Kind of goldy looking? Right, brass. Doesn't stick, okay? That's brass there, okay? Sticks there, because that's steel. This goes in your ferrous, this goes in your non-ferrous. All right, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Send me a, a request, uh, comments, things like that. I hope my new guys, my new subscribers are learning Till then, guys, peace.